All right, guys, we're going to dive into the rads of this video. So not going to waste you guys' time. You want to pick up your pit boy first and foremost. You guys know how it is. Every fall game's like that. So after you get your pit boy, uh, the first tip I have is to get the well-rested perk. You just lay right here. It takes about 30 seconds. And as you see right there, you get the well-rested. I feel well-rested. It's always good to get some good sleep. But anyway, as you can see up here, effects, well-rested for two hours plus 5% extra XP. And then after that, you want to play the guitar. This is the second tip. You'll get the well-tuned perk where it's like AP regen, which if you guys don't know, AP means action points. It's basically like your stamina when sprinting and your action points like in bats, how many times you can shoot something basically. Okay, so I got it, you feel well-tuned. Then when you pull up the pit boy again, yeah, well-tuned, 59 minutes, AP regen plus 25. So that's pretty good. And see what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but if you're a completionist, a collectionist, all that good crap, you can get the holotape game. That's on this terminal right here. Yeah, eject holotape, nuka trapper. I like to pick that up. Then you want to make your way out of the vault. And some of you might miss this, but there's a free purified water and rad X right here, right beside uh, Worthy, the Mr. Handy. Also a free stim pack and rad away. Here's a little party hat. I like to put that on. <laughs> I'm down for a party. Shut up. So even though this level 20 right here, battle ready, well or whatever, best choice, it's actually not the best choice because you're automatically level 20 and the builds that they give you are actually kind of garbage so you don't want to do that i got videos about good builds and stuff you can check out that playlist i'll put it like up here or whatever but yeah don't don't pick this it's not very good and plus you start out at level 20 so enemies scale to your level so if you're new to the game new to the fallout shooter series and whatnot yeah that might not be the best choice um and you can't really obviously manually pick your special stats so i do not i do not recommend this at all so I would go with the level two, the fresh dweller. I, I would do that. You get to pick your special stats manually and everything. You start at level one, like I said, they, they scale with you. And if you want the, the best experience in the game, you know, actually doing it organically and everything, this is the best way to go. This is what I recommend. So don't ignore that when it says best choice. Best choice my ass. No, no, go with the fresh dweller. And then you get to pick your first perk card and I like the I like the action dweller. I like that one, so I'm gonna pick that one. You can choose whatever you want, whatever play style you want to go with. But yes, I want to confirm this one. Now we're going to the wasteland. Oh shit! And once you're out of the vault, it's automatically join a public team. I recommend a casual one. So these are okay. So these two are full. Okay, so in that case, you can create a new team and then go under casual. So what a casual team does is boost up your XP. See, there we go. Someone joined the team right there. So yeah, it's it's that fast. People like to join teams really quick for the extra XP. So that's what I recommend doing. It's first thing you do when you exit the vault. And then from there, you want to go down here to the donation box. So basically donation boxes, they're like across the map and everything. They're just like items and weapons, whatnot, grenades, whatever you can think of that people can donate into this box. It's in the name donation box. and. And this right oh yeah someone donated all this stuff very very nice and i see some ghoulies down here so this is an opportunity to show you my next tip so here's bats you press q if you're on pc on console i believe it's like a lb but yeah after you kill somebody let me get this one too want to pick up everything you can because then you can scrap it down for junk and everything weapon mods i'll show you that here in a second and also whatever weapon you have equipped the ammo drops will correspond to that weapon unless you're using melee. If you're using melee, it's going to be something completely random. But anyway, like I said, take everything you can to kill another one of these bastards. Oh, 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 he almost got me there. All right. So I can show you the area loot now. So see, all this is from these two ghouls and probably that other one down there. But anyway, uh, if you just take it all like that and you also want to loot ammo containers if you loot ammo containers like i said it corresponds to your weapon so that's another tip for you more ammo down here like i said just loot everything everything you can find you break it down especially that duct tape i just got right there adhesive is very critical for weapon crafting and all that crap there's another ammo box damn and let me tell you it is a ghoul party it used to be liberator bots that used to occupy this area but uh, oh shit but but now apparently it's it's ghouls so that's new but anyway like i said just do the area loot, grab literally everything. Everything is important, whether it's crafting, ammo, whatever. And down here is a, another opportunity for a, another tip that I have, which is collect all the meat you can from animals. You can cook them, you can sell them for caps. Same thing with purified water if you have excess amount of it. Oh, and that means I leveled up too. But basically when you level up, 
go here to level up and you can just pick whatever you want just like when you first exit the vault oh yeah scrounge is a really good perk if you want extra ammo so i'm going to pick scrounger that's one tip that i have when you're first starting out is to get scrounger stingwing meat okay and i'll show you the cooking now you go to one of these called a cooking station yeah when you see crap like this yeah so expect to see some fall 76 bugs yeah there's a lot of them <laughs> be ready okay well it looked like I, I encountered a ui bug right now See, when I go up to something to try to loot it, it bugged out. So there's the second bug already and we're already uh, like, what, 10 minutes into the gameplay. <laughs> See if I can fix it going back to this. Up, up, it almost worked. Up, yeah, so wait, it almost did it. Wait, <laughs> okay, so I, I guess we're gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna restart my game. <laughs> okay, so I actually got the cooking to work now. So anyway, you wanna go to all food and what I like to do is press Q for toggle craftable. So this is everything you can craft. You can either eat it. It used to be that it was required to eat and drink and that's no longer the case. So now you can either do that for the extra stat boost or you can sell them. I like to sell them early in game, you know, to get as much caps as I can. So yeah, that's the other tip I got. You can also do all drinks and toggle craftable again. I can get some Tato juice right here. Ooh, sounds nasty. And also another tip, if you want some extra carry weight, rad stag meat gives you 25 plus carry weight. The grilled rad stag? No, never mind. It's it's only 20, but still, it's still pretty good. I can get two of them bad boys. And then when I go to eat it, my carry weight's 165 right now. The grilled rad stag. Now I went up to 185. And like I said, you can go to a workbench. I'm, I'm gonna venture to guess that most of you, you know, you're new to the game. That's why you're watching this video. You probably do not have Fallout First. If you had Fallout First, you have these survival tents where it, it would give you the, the basic necessities like a, you know, a scrap box and stash box and like a workbench of some sort. But I'm like I said, my venture guess you don't have Fallout First. So you go to one of these workbenches. It could be any workbench, it doesn't matter. But yeah, scrap items. And if you go to weapons, and this is why I said to pick up everything, there's chances that you can get that you can get weapon mods from scrapping uh, weapons. I can scrap that, scrap that. I can scrap the pipe pistol, and there we go. Crafting item unlocked, stabilized long barrel, fire iron. Didn't get anything on that, but that's why you want to pick up the weapons and scrap them. And then right here, scrap all junk, and it'll give you every crafting component from all the junk that you have collected. So I'm gonna scrap everything right there. So yeah, you can unlock armor mods that way too by scrapping armor, so that's good. So literally just scrap everything. Okay, and since we're already here, I went to modify, this is my next tip. Let's say you don't have a specific component to craft something. So like right here, I need two screws. So I'm like, damn, I really, I really need some screws for this. Well, you can go down here to tag for search, press X, and now it's gonna be on the lookout for that crafting component. So, you know, you might forget it's on, you might you might not, whatever, but it doesn't matter. Like when you, when you hover over things, it'll have that little magnifying glass there that tells you, hey, you know, this has screws in it, pick it up and scrap it, you dummy. And this right here is the example that I'm talking about. See how it has a magnifying glass next to loose screws. Now, even though it is literally loose screws, it doesn't matter. Let's say it's a desk fan, for example, it will have the magnifying glass on that too, because you know, loose screws are a component of the desk fan. See what I'm saying? Here's the next tip I got. You you may come across a situation where like, oh man, I, 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 I don't have any ammo. What am I gonna do? This is what you're not supposed to do right here. Ammunition vending machine, don't buy from this. Don't buy from this, it's way overpriced. Really, most of this stuff should just be like one cap each. Yeah, most of this should just be one cap each. So if you wanna buy ammo, go to someone's vendor and I'm gonna show you that right now. So you know, pull up your map. And these icons right here are people's maps. And it does cost caps to fast travel, bear that in mind. There's a perk that reduces the amount of caps that you spend so to fast travel, I forget what the name is. But anyway, yeah. Well, there's someone's camp right here, so we can just walk over here. Someone's got a uh, pet sloth, it looks like. And some people don't have vendors. This might be the case. Okay, so yeah, this person does not have a vendor. So we're going to go to someone who does, which is right here. It's actually indicated by the uh, the green V right there. So that means they got some stuff that we can buy. So let's go fast travel for one cap over there. And let's go buy some ammo. Oh, and I spawned underwater. And I went to someone's camp who was actually selling ammo for one cap each. So I wanted to show you guys that most people sell them for one cap. And sometimes they actually just give it away for free. You know, they just want out of their inventory and just to be a, a nice fall dweller. So keep an eye out for that. And the last tip I have for you is all about legendary weapons and armor and all that good crap. So right now I'm on my level 500, my main character. But once you get to a point where you're getting legendaries on a regular basis, like legendary weapons and armor and all that crap, You'll want to come here to the rusty pick located right here in the ash heap 
You want to go inside? And once you picked up some legendary gear, you want to head over to something called a scrap machine, legendary exchange, whatever you want to call it. I have mine maxed out. See, I have 6,000. That is the max. So, but anyway, you'll find something right here, like a legendary gear, weapon, whatever, and uh, you'll scrap it and you'll get these things called legendary script, as you can see down there. I got 200, or there's 214 left that I can get. And then when you go to the purveyor right here, you can purchase like, you know, one star, two star, and three stars, but I don't recommend doing this. What I recommend doing is actually buying legendary modules because then when you buy legendary modules, they actually got one down here. When you go to like a weapons workbench or whatever, I go to modify and like, let's say I wanted to modify this fixture, which I'm not going to because this fixture is unbelievable. I got really lucky on this roll, but I like modify or mod modify random legendary mods. See if I choose this, you can either do one, two, or three star, and it'll do a random legendary roll. And the reason why I recommend doing it this way instead of getting a random roll through the purveyor is that at least you can pick what weapon or piece of armor you want to make legendary. But with the purveyor, it's it's random. It could be it could be a weapon, a piece of armor. You know, it could be anything, and it could be a, a subset of a different piece of armor, and so on and so on. So that's why I recommend doing it on the workbench. You can actually choose what you want to upgrade and make legendary. So that's pretty much all the tips that I have for the new players. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. That gets me better notice on YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Peace out.